Hi guys, this is Ajin Abraham. Uh, this video will introduce OWASP Xenotics XSS Exploit Framework. It is an advanced cross-site scripting detection and exploitation framework. Uh, you can get a copy of uh, Xenotics from its website xenotics.in or you can Google for OWASP Xenotics. So that will give you a link towards the OWASP project page. So uh, you can download from either website. So this is the OWASP project page of Xenotics. You can uh, download it by clicking this download button from the quick download section or you can go to the documentation or you can go to the download section and you can download from here. A mirror is also available in case you face any trouble with the downloads. Or otherwise you can go to this website and navigate to the download section. Yes, and now you can download it from here. So I had already downloaded and extracted the RAR file. So uh, basically how to run Xenotics access exploit framework .exe. So let me give you a quick introduction about OWASP Synodic XSS Exploit Framework. It is a framework which is capable of detecting cross-site scripting vulnerabilities and uh, you can create POCs with the vulnerabilities you have identified using the exploitation modules or the information gathering module. And uh, it also have a lot of auxiliary tools to help you in your exploitation or post-exploitation phase or uh, in order to bypass the web application filters or firewalls etc and this scripting engine allows you to uh, create custom test cases over Xenotics API which will uh, help you to uh, use all I mean which will help you to leverage all the features provided by Xenotics and uh, you know you can modify it or you can use it based on your logic uh, that will be helpful in some cases in some specific conditions where the tool can help you. So you can basically modify the tool logic based on the way you want. And uh, one unique thing about Synotics is the three different browser engines. So uh, Synotics is having Trident engine that is supported by the Internet Explorer browser. And then the WebKit used by Chrome, Safari, Opera, etc. And then the Geeko, which is used by Firefox. So all these browser engines are integrated with the theory that uh, Cross-site scripting or reflected script or code is having slightly different behavior in different browsers. So we don't want any injection to escape out. So in order to make things perfect, we are testing within the browser engines to make sure that you will get a zero false positive result.